architectural firms in the, in the country that actually have their own CNC. Uh, and the uh, CNC that we have is top of the line and we can pretty much do anything that it's really opened up a whole new uh, realm of possibilities for people who wanted to get into that material but never had the chance before. Having this moved over here now is getting people into there, figure out how to use it, show them what the possibilities are. It's kind of interesting to see people making models on the laser cutters because they're constricted to an 18 by 24 area. But when you have a CNC machine making a uh, four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood and bigger if you can get the material, uh, it really opens up a little bit of more of, uh, as far as the scale of things that we're able to do. One of the areas that architecture students are going to be able to bring a new, um, a new area of expertise into the profession that maybe some, uh, some or even most firms don't already have. Uh, there are firms around the country that are getting into this type of stuff, this uh, digital fabrication, the making of what we're designing instead of just drawing and handing it off to someone else to make. There are a lot of smaller startup firms all over the country that are really getting into the hands-on approach. To be able to control that fabrication, to be able to control it all the way from the design through the fabrication is really uh, is a big step and I think it'll, it's definitely going to change the way that we look at architecture and the way that we design.